Duarte in the left. You can expect Duarte to be aiming at the chest and the midsection of Ryan Garcia, and of course you can expect the speed and that floppy, that jab coming from Ryan Garcia. Big left hook by Duarte. He throws that right hand to the chest just to get you stationary. And throw that left hook around the guard right there. Ryan Garcia needs to be very sharp and not get hit by that. And listen, Sergio, the number one question after a fighter loses, what's your mental like? The flashing jab that we saw when Ryan first came out, he's got to get back to that. When you see him waver from things, you can, you can definitely bet that the mental may not be firing the way it should be. For 23 fights, we saw that Ryan's good at dishing it out. But against Tank Davis, he showed he wasn't so good at taking it. He's going to have to deal with a lot of body shots from Duarte. There's something to remember about Duarte. He is a pressure fighter, but he doesn't throw as he's coming in. He waits till his opponent gets stationary. He can't do that against Ryan Garcia. He's got to throw punches as he's trying to get inside. Yeah, the thing about Duarte, he needs to see that punch. He won't throw it if he doesn't see it. He took advantage right there. But if he doesn't see it, he won't throw it. Constant movement from King Ryan. Good left uppercut. Duarte's putting his head down and coming in like a bull. And yeah, that punch's gonna be there, that uppercut. I told you, I told Brian Garcia and Derek James, is that gonna be the punch you're looking for? They, they, they kind of smiled, but I knew that's their game plan. Duarte went away from throwing that right, that straight right to the midsection of Ryan Garcia. I think that would serve him right, right now to, to cut Ryan Garcia in half, make him think about the body and lower them hands. You know what? It will, it will serve Ryan well to go to Duarte's body. Right hand on the button from Ryan. Ryan is such a reactive fighter, like he's a twitchy fighter, you know? Anytime you, you even think about throwing a punch, he's thinking about a counter shot. Yep. Guys like that, you gotta faint. You gotta faint and bait him in. You can't tell him the truth with the first punch. And that alone is stopping Duarte from using his offense. I come, to school, uh, I come from the school of get, get what you can get. Yeah, you can. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm the same way, Sean. Every time I do that, these guys jump on me saying that, that I got they cheating or, or no, no. Hey, it ain't cheating one. if the referee's not not. Uh, and you get a couple warnings. It's exactly. okay. That's, that's all you're gonna get. Uh, right hand again, and followed up with a left that just missed. Uh, uh, we saw against Tank Davis, Chris, that Ryan Garcia at times became over eager. Is he being patient enough for you? I think he's being patient. And look, one thing about Tank Davis, he is pound for pound the most powerful counter puncher in boxing today. So Tank Davis is on a special level. This is where Ryan doesn't want to be. Get back on the move. Don't, don't get complacent at any point against Oscar Duarte. It won't be good. See, Sean, there was a missed opportunity, I thought. Absolutely. Oscar Duarte. He's Absolutely. in the corner, he's got Ryan Garcia there, and he's not letting his hands go. Absolutely. The reason he's not letting his hands go is because uh, Ryan's leaning back, hiding behind that big left shoulder. Yeah. So right there is where Duarte should be just aiming at the, at the elbows, the forearms, and the, the side of the body, hit anything. Listen, I, I think the number one game plan for, for Oscar Duarte is to make Ryan Garcia uncomfortable. That means hitting him everywhere often until you get warned and he's told not to do it anymore. Duarte, which is why he's continuing to get me hit in there. Look. Yeah, and look, that should be a warning for Ryan for turning his back and not for Duarte aiming there. Mm. I disagree. I look, Duarte, that's twice now he's aimed at the back of the head it's, at Ryan Garcia. Sean, what do you think? It's like it's a weird angle that's happening right there in the, in the heat of the battle, in the moment. Those are things that, you know, as a fighter, you really can't make that adjustment. You can't turn your back yeah. when you're a fighter. So if, 
If Ryan Garcia is turning himself sideways, just showing his back, then what are you going to hit? You have to hit the shoulders. And listen, bottom line, we just saw a hard warning, and, and we know that, that Ryan Garcia is smart. Look for him to continue to make that move to get those points taken and possibly the DQ. You know, they really do jump on you, huh, Sergio? Oh, <laughs> I love how Ryan Garcia, when he throws that jab, he, he steps back looking to counter with the right hand or the right uppercut. Yeah. He's not committing to that jab. See, if you're Oscar Duarte, you've got to throw here. Like, these are the situations where you've got to throw six, seven, eight punch combinations. You can't just follow Ryan Garcia into the corner and do nothing. Look right there, that's what you should just dig in the body, dig in the ribs. Now that overhand right, Duarte's been warned. So if he continues to do it, you understand what your opponent's doing. You have to make an adjustment to it. And the reason Duarte's not letting go and unleashing those punches, uh, Chris, is because that's what speed does. It makes you think twice. It yeah. intimidates you. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You got respect for that power. To that, when you talk about styles, someone who likes to dig to the body, likes to likes to punch strong and hard, make them move their feet. Look at this, no punches being thrown from Duarte because he has his force to move his feet. When he throws, he misses. Yeah, but it's also a bad look, and you're gonna get the boomer down from the fans right now if you're moving that much. There's nothing wrong boxing and moving, but you gotta be sticking and moving, just, just not moving laterally without punching. Left hand gets Duarte off balance. But you wonder, can Garcia continue this strategy, moving this much into rounds 10, 11, and 12? I'm curious to know why Garcia all of a sudden is moving this, this much. I mean, did, did Duarte hurt him or something, or is it respecting something? Something changed. I like it. I like it. I think it's, it's the right move to make. Right. He just needs more offense. We're in the booze because he's not using the offense with the movement. Okay, but if momentum is going to Duarte's side, this is got like another round that's gonna go in Duarte's favor. As far as momentum, maybe not winning the round, but momentum as far as the fans and how it looks. Hey. Can the continuous pressure of Oscar Duarte start to pay dividends as Garcia continues to stick and move? But Sergio, there's a lot less sticking and a lot more moving the last couple of rounds. That's what I just said, and a lot more booing coming from the from the fans that were actually praising Garcia's entrance. So this is not only you know the the hurt business; it's also the show business. And right now, Ryan Garcia needs to show us more. See, hook to the head, hook to the body. You know, the, 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 the typical combinations, hook to the body, hook to the head. He's got the head open. That's, I mean, the, 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 the head's covered. That's a given. Hook to the head, hook to the body. Jab, jab. We see a lot of comparisons with Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya. Right now we're seeing a version of Oscar right. De La Hoya when he fought Felix Trinidad. You know, a little bit too much moving, even though he, a fight he was winning. Yeah, at least the last couple of rounds of that fight, for sure. But these are these are largely wasted opportunities for Oscar Duarte because Ryan's on the move and Duarte's following. But as he's following, he's not throwing a lot. So the fact that this is not an engaging fight right now, that's on Ryan Garcia. But Oscar Duarte, to me, is not taking advantage like he should. Chris, what did I say? Duarte has his feet has to be, they have to be set in order for him to punch. It's great defense. From 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 Ryan because he's taking he's taking it away from his opponent. He just does not know how to punch and move, which is why people are not booing. That's that's most punchers. You know they have to have their feet their their, their feet flat to be able to land something big. Hey Chris, oh, nice left hand there from. Oh, that oh. Is hurt. Is hurt. Duarte's legs have betrayed him. His foundation is gone.
That's not 